The 660 Digger Mobile has proven to be a successful and practical solution for many types of hole digging projects. And while small variations exist between specific models, the safety precautions and operational characteristics discussed in this program apply to all 660 Digger Mobile units. Before utilizing the Digger Mobile, visually inspect for loose, damaged, or worn parts. Determine that operator controls work freely, all safety devices are operative, and that information and safety decals are readable. It's essential the Digger Mobile and all accessories are in good mechanical condition before you attempt to use it. Clothing must be sturdy and snug fitting, but still allow complete freedom of movement. Never wear loose fitting clothing or anything that could become caught on controls or moving parts. Gloves will protect your hands and improve your grip. Safety eyewear will protect against the possibility of flying debris. Other safety equipment such as a hard hat and safety shoes may also be appropriate on your job site. Always follow the engine starting procedure as outlined in the operator manual. The 660 Digger Mobile is designed for one man operation. Two or more people operating the Digger Mobile can lead to confusion and possible loss of control. Working with the Digger Mobile is strenuous. Upper torso, lower back, and legs are body parts most affected while digging. If you have any condition that might be aggravated by strenuous work activity, check with your doctor first. The 660 Digger Mobile is designed to produce clean vertical holes. However, if the auger starts out in a vertical position, the pendulum action will allow it to curve away from the operator, creating a totally unusable hole. Instead, tilt the auger a safe distance toward the operator. This position helps pull the auger vertical as it digs. Once in a vertical position, apply a force against the control handle as necessary to overcome the pendulum effect. Stop the auger rotation when removing to produce the cleanest, most usable hole. The digger mobile supplies a force to counteract the natural torque and kickback forces created while digging. Kickback forces are created when the auger strikes a tree root, rock, or other buried obstruction, and its rotation is suddenly stopped. Kickback is characterized by a sharp movement of the control handle in a counterclockwise direction toward the operator. The digger mobile design minimizes torque and kickback concerns. However, no machine configuration can totally eliminate the potential for kickback. Each operator must be aware of the potential effects. Proper operator position and techniques, as outlined in the operator manual, can be successfully utilized to minimize the effects of torque and kickback forces. Keep the left side of the control handle close to your hip area. Position your left foot ahead of your right foot. Spread your legs apart in a comfortable stance a safe distance away from the auger. This will help you maintain proper balance. Arms should be kept as close to the upper body as possible to help maximize leverage and strength. Bending your legs as the auger digs will also help to reduce back muscle strain. Always assume every digging site has some type of buried obstruction. And be prepared for unexpected auger contact with obstructions. Under certain conditions, Striking a buried obstruction can produce a severe and sudden kickback force. The operator must maintain mental alertness at all times 
and be prepared to accommodate this phenomenon. When digging in areas filled with buried obstructions, allow the auger to chip away at the obstruction until the auger can either pass by or go through it. The technique usually involves the operator holding up on the handle and establishing a minimal digging rate for the auger. Proper operator position will help minimize the effects of kickback being created by the auger striking a buried obstruction. As a general rule, it's not necessary for the operator to press down on the control handle to make the auger dig. Augers will usually dig at steady rates that will not cause them to bind and become stuck in the hole. When the auger becomes stuck, the hydraulic system relief valve will deploy and prevent internal damage to the components. Pull up on the control handle or reverse the rotation direction to help free the auger. In sandy or loose soil conditions, it may be necessary for the operator to hold up on the control handle to reduce the digging rate of the auger. This technique will help prevent the auger from binding. In tough soil conditions, such as dried clay and hard pan, it might be necessary instead to press down on the control handle to achieve acceptable digging rates. Regardless of soil condition or operator experience, the accepted procedure is to allow the auger to dig at a rate most comfortable to the operator, yet not allowing it to become stuck in the hole and causing the hydraulic system relief valve to deploy. It's a common misconception that a larger auger can ream out a smaller, previously dug hole. Such practice poses a potential safety hazard. Instead, refill and compact the hole before digging with the larger diameter auger. It's a good safety rule to always stop the engine between each hole to help minimize the chance of personal injury. Some digging jobs may require a hole deeper than that provided by standard length augers. For many such requirements, both non-flighted and flighted auger extensions are available. Always follow the instructions in the operator manual for their usage. Take a few minutes to read the operator manual for the 660 digger mobile. It contains additional information that will give you a better understanding of its operational characteristics and of the accepted procedures used to dig holes. Keep it handy for quick reference. An informed, knowledgeable operator works with more confidence in himself and in the machine. He'll work with greater safety and be far more productive on the job site. Be aware of potential safety-related problems and their implications on the job site. Safety pays dividends. Work smart and remember that safety is everyone's job and responsibility. This program is intended to promote safety and efficiency with hole digging products manufactured by General Equipment Company. No warranty, guarantee or representation is made by the manufacturer or his authorized agent as to the absolute correctness and sufficiency of any information or statement. This program is not intended to substitute for the operator manual. Before attempting to operate this product, read the operator manual and the material supplied by the engine manufacturer to familiarize yourself with correct operating procedures. Proper levels of operator experience, skill, and common sense are essential for the safe and efficient operation of this product.